Welcome back everybody, my name is BlockRation and today we're going to be taking a look at four hidden input devices that complement your hidden doors and entrances perfectly so you can uh, hide the activation where th your enemies can find it. Starting off we have a design that uses the wall and the floor so keep in mind that you have to build it right here. But when we place a redstone torch down, it won't activate like the most hidden activation devices. But if we place a redstone here, it will activate. And here you can see the redstone. So building this is pretty easy. You just want to go below this a floor block. And this is just going to break the redstone. Then you want to have a repeater facing into here. And power that with a block of redstone like this. Then we want to have a output out of this redstone. So place a repeater on this block with a two tick. And that's your output. So if you want you can place redstone here. And go to the lamp or whatever you want. But now we can see it activates when we place redstone, but it doesn't activate when we place a redstone torch. The next design is similar because it uses the same two blocks, but uh, now we can place a redstone and nothing happens. But if we place a redstone torch, uh, the torch gets broken and a signal comes out. Here you can see the redstone. And I'm now going to build it. So go underneath your floor block. Place a sticky piston with a block of redstone. Then a two tick repeater. A redstone dust here. And finally a sticky piston with your wall block there. And this is going to be your, um, your thing complete. And now we can just invert the signal and we have our output. The next design is a completely wall mounted hidden input device. So if we place a torch here, we can see the block gets retracted and we get a output. We should get a output. Oh yeah, I forgot to hook this up, but now we get a output. And this also works with buttons and levers. And uh, here's the redstone again. To build it, we're going to build ourselves a wall, and this can be on any height you want, so I'm going to build it here. This is going to be our input block, so place a sticky piston here, a block underneath with a redstone torch facing towards there. Then place a redstone and a two tick repeater next to that, place a block up. Then a redstone that is going to power the piston. Now we have to just butt power this piston again. And for that we are going to create a torch tower with a redstone and a block here. And this is going to cre uh, create a butt powered state. Now we can just replace this. And as you can see the piston if it gets updated it will retract and go back. The last design works exactly the same, so we can place a button up here on the ceiling, and this is just ceiling. So to build it, we're going to need some uh, ceiling. Then we're going to uh, build a sticky piston again, so this is going to be your input. Then we want to have a repeater going into there with a redstone block that is going to power it all the time. Then we can go out here, place a two tick repeater there and place redstone dust like that. Redstone here. And then we want to have a, a something here. So like that. And now if we replace that again, we can see it works. And the output can be anywhere on this redstone line. And that's 
the last design. That wraps things up for this uh, video. But if you have enjoyed, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe. If you have any ideas what I could build, leave them in the comments down below. But anyway, that's it for today and I hope to see you all in the next video.